Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, post down to this news. On a goal.com, come come and they let us know say Arsenal is still going for Cancelo because Cancelo to Arsenal deal is still on because a lot of people they feel say since we are getting Julian Timber, so we think we define Cancelo for but from what I'm hearing, so everything they on the table because transfer window is still long. In case Kerry and Tien, the Commerce are talking one final square road, we need another replacement for that left back. At the same time, from what see other sources come to talk, they talk say I thought that they plan to carry Ben White, move him back to the centre back road so that it will be the direct replacement for Saliba, then Julian Simba and Tomiyasu will do for that right back full time. Remember, so we still get Cedric Suarez as the third name in the pecking order of right backs. So if we can't get Cancelo, so we will be having a Cancelo, Julian Simba and Tomiyasu as the first, second, third choice of right backs. Then for the centre back pairing, we can only get somebody like a White, they directly behind Saliba. Then Kivio will be directly behind Gabriel Mogales. But remember, say every other person's versatility still allows them to play the centre back role. So now, what many sources out there they explain say that is Ateta's vision. You get have ten players that can play like three three roles or two two roles. Ten players go turn transform into twenty players. You know all those kinds of things. So that's what you are saying. So I don't know what you are think about this Cancelo deal. You get well, what you are think? She make us still go for the guy. I think we just leave her go for another person. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. At the same time, what we want to hear from the Athletic that the fact say Arsenal they rethink the sale of Grand Shaka. So that they feel say maybe last time they don't need to sell this guy. Maybe that was one of the reasons why they increased the guy price from 13 million to 20 million. Hoping they buy the Bakus and go run away, say yeah, we will not buy again. Because from the look of things, I think Ateta loves that guy and Ateta wants to keep him. This is not the first time where they happen. I keep remember uh, reminding you people of What's it happened against Roma? It gets Roma had already accept personal terms with Grand Shaka. At the end of the day, Ateta say, Baba, you know they go anywhere. We all know Ateta doesn't want this deal to go through. The only thing they push this deal now, Leonita will be Grand Shaka wife. We talk say she won't go back to Germany. So that's the only thing really, really pushing the deal. So I believe that if it come to a compromise, maybe they will see Beg Shaka because we need all the leaders we have in our pack. So moving forward, don't be surprised. I keep telling people. Don't be surprised at the end of the day if you see people like Granny Shaka and you see people like Thomas Pate because from the look of things also, the fist tell Thomas Pate say make him no go. He gets despite his desire to leave. You must still tell him not to go anywhere, make him still stay. Because you see many, many comments from the comment section yesterday where they talk say Pate is better than Rice, this one, that one, that. Why do you think Asna is going as in with the scatter everywhere, break bank to bring in Rice? Do you think we are, we are spending 105 million to bring him and put him on the bench? Where is Rice number one position? Not be in the party position. So why do you think we are buying him? Do you think we are buying that 105 million, like we spend 105 million pounds to put him on the bench? Do you think that's the business we are doing? So let me know your thoughts in the comments because I see many, many comments that. If I talk that they go talk, say maybe I don't like the Thomas party. But the fact is, we are not spending one and five million pounds to put the player on the bench. The player has to play. And the role that he is good at, that that Thomas Party role, shielding the back four. So it is what it is. You may not like, I keep telling you people that growth is painful. That's what it is. Look at what happened now. I just went to go and get the domain. If not that Facebook restricted us, which is painful, would I have thought about getting the domain? That is why growth is usually painful at the end of the day. Just like people going to gym, you get you break down your muscles to so feel pain. At the end of the day, your muscles repair themselves and outgrow their former states. So now so you just be well. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this Thomas Party, Rice, Shaka? Do you want them to leave? Especially that Shaka party, or do you want them to stay? and consolidate on what we brought in all right so today happy birthday to one of our community members who they call evangelist bonnie star so baba me lines for the place for you and wish you all the best things life really really have to offer so today like your birthday enjoy your day and wish you all the very best all right there. game out
Our Fabrizio Romano said, phone comments I can't debunk all the rumors about Kylian Mbappe. Talks he has now one sign, I'm English club one sign, so but back on the set the record straight. Call the talks, there are no English clubs talking with uh, Kylian Mbappe's representatives or showing indications say they won't sign up. Nada, none. You get so as of now, we know they talk about the future as of now. Get, but I think the reports about Arsenal said it will be in 2024. That is when we will go and talk to them. Not like we are talking to them now. You get so now something we say as I see the story, means if I just laugh. Now football transfers, now I break that news. As I see, I, I just laugh. But Fabrizio they call it clearly as a new English club, they go for the guy for now. The thing can change in the future, so make everybody just know. But do you think Arsenal have any any slim chance? To sign Kevin Mbappe, I don't see that. I never saw that happen because you see the guy now they request for 260 million so as salary for anybody who wants to sign up. Get as in the annual fee. You get so now what you see. So the only people, only two clubs, I see if he make that move. Maybe Real Madrid and maybe Man City. These are the two clubs I think can make that deal happen. So apart from that, nothing. At the same time, Arsenal under Ateta, they are going for Laporte. You get so this Laporte. I don't know, I think I won't ask you now. What do you think about this Laporte? Do you think it's a deal that makes sense? Like Arsenal going for Laporte, where he will play, yes. Players have gone plenty. But though it's good for squad depth too, but the guy is complaining of uh, lack of playing time. So bringing him to Arsenal is going to get playing time. So now what do you think I ask you now? Because remember that Masters want to buy Josko Gabriel and at the same time they want to replace uh, Para and Laporte. So space no good for the guy to play. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you think we should be going for that kind of player or not? Our Fabrizio Romano don't come again, also, but back on the talk, say Arsenal still the contact uh, Romeo Lavia agents. Like they, they keep in touch. See, they're they interested. They ask about the status of affairs. Get maybe they know what's in the sub. At the same time, Liverpool don't the reason say it is time for them to even make a bid. They don't contact the player, they don't contact the club. So we now we don't do all the contacts, but we never make a bid. According to Fabrizio Romano, no bid has come in yet. So everybody still take their time. They try to close up every other thing that they do to make sure say space there for the guys to come in. For that, then Fabrizio can they give one like explanation for because the only reason we're gonna make us now sign this from Lavia. That's why they never really make a bid. Is if Thomas Party leaves. That's why they go trigger. Her. But meanwhile, what they're gonna do if Thomas Party will leave, or if Thomas Party will not leave, another club will sign the player. So that's what we are looking at. Say if Party leave. Before the Open go and discuss them. But what's in me? I know once now. Dying minutes, maybe a week to go, maybe window close. Maybe party the counter say, okay, oh, Baba, I beg, I don't want to hear anything, I won't come out. Or make one player from nowhere come talk to you, won't come out. If you won't come out, mention them now, as in the ginger, them, they tell them now, put pressure on them now that I want to leave, I want to leave, put me on the market. Maybe they put you officially for market, make people come bid for you. That's what me I want. I don't want anybody to disrupt the flow, you get the precision, the preparation of the team. Whoever wants to leave should leave now. So that we know what we will do. Get ample time to go and look for decent replacement. So let's just keep watching. Um, so we're gonna hear uh, Vlaovic preference where he would like to play. So Baba Talk say where he would like to play the MB Real Madrid or Bayern Munich. So he don't get any plan to come for the EPL so he wants to remain for the and Real Madrid the reason a loan deal for this uh, Vlaovic according to Calcio Mercato so they won't collect the guy on loan but they don't to get plenty of money to spend it. They save their money, say they won't buy Mbappe. They won't know that Mbappe will be available this season because that bomb when Mbappe drop, say no one sign new contract terms. PS, you know, say they don't sell them now. If they don't sell them next year, they know if you command a decent fee. You get? So it is best when it is two years remaining, you sell that player so that you will command something substantial. You get? So they are even planning to sell Fede Verde because Liverpool they are going to prepare 77 million pounds offer to give to Real Madrid so that they will not sell Fede, give them so that they will prepare money to buy Mbappe. So see all this chain reaction. So Vlaovic is going to replace Benzema at Real Madrid because they never signed another striker. So we just watch her. That's why Real Madrid first come to the one side have. Listen, Real Madrid first to the one side I have. So the money come for you there. So they talk say the money too much. Even if now 50 million, they don't even get 50 million. Say it's too much. If I ask can't go there, collect this. So they identify him as a very, very good player for them to sign. So much just watch her. Everything will end at the end of the day. Um, but from what we're going to hear, the ESL decline rise will cut in holiday shots. 
to come conclude Arsenal Medical. So very time soon, the saga will end. Even Fabrizio Romano talk say it is coming very, very close. Very, very close. And remember that West Ham said it is on Monday, this Monday. Now they hope say everything will end. Like they will come to an agreement on the payment stamps for this death and rise, for this rise deal. So we are hoping and expecting, praying, say today, make everything just finalized. Yes. I'm not, I just this is not the linger for too much. Before you know now, one kind of thing will happen again. So maybe they just finalize everything. Maybe the guy will be I'm not going to announce. I'm not going to say yes. We don't get everything. Even though Fabrizio Romano the talks since Thursday, say the deal of rice and timber are for advanced stage. So anytime soon now, it's going to be completed. And when it's done, it will be so we don't spend at least 200 million for this summer transfer window and we are not done spending. So me, I don't really know how much they for our transfer kitty. Maybe not 350 million, maybe not 300 million, nobody knows. But all we know is we spent 200 million and I know we are not stopping there. We are still spending. Because for those that are here, they say Champions League, no one, no one, no matter how it will be, Champions League will generate like 50 million for us. You can one uh, Bailey, one guy while they watch for uh, Sky Sports. We got to analyze why Arsenal have so much transfer money. You get in their transfer watches. Manchester United have just 100 million to spend this transfer. They, they, I don't know, they don't spend plenty in the past, so uh, FFP can they hook them for throat. So I can't be surprised. That's what I see now. Chelsea need to sell to buy. Arsenal never sell anybody. We just the money they get. So when we talk about we can sell some kind of players, we're going to generate more revenue and reinvest it into the team. So that's what's going to make me very, very happy because at the end of the day, all of us want Arsenal to progress. Is that not? So let's watch as this conclude. I'm on Metsasaka also come come as I say they very very excited and very very happy to see Kai Havertz playing for us. That's it's of them a German international. So the guy can talk plenty plenty good things about Kai Havertz. And the fact is that he has not reached his potential. Oh, he said a lot of nice things. Yeah, me said, I didn't impress. I want to say make everything go according to a plan. Because with the hype, the guy, with the checking records, and then the when it comes to the match day, making deliver on the field of play. That is our own prayer, I guess. Because say so we finish second, we almost won the league. I even go check how many goals we score. Score 103 goals. Man City, the goal difference between Aston and Man City, you nobody know, say no reach 10. The goal difference. The players now six F. Now Man City take pass us. You know reach 10, child. I, I check I yesterday. So for it to not say we did well last season. So we are planning to build on what we have done and perform more against score more goals. Gabriel Jesus missed about three months, I think, if I'm not mistaken. About three months through injury. Those three months, who knows how many goals he could have scored if he was there? Maybe he was score more 10 goals or five goals. We don't really know. But for me, I think if Gabriel Jesus stay for this new season, like from beginning to the ending, I see him scoring at least 20 goals. I see for in the miss goals over. I still see him scoring at least 20 because I think with the attacking players who so don't bring in and the defense solidity who so don't bring in in rice, I think the back four will be protected because it is one thing to score more goals and don't concede. So I think we'll score more this season. But let the watch everything off. So my dear Aston lovers, you know what just this should check the top left corner of your screen. We'll see the thumbnail. Click up so that you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So, such exciting out. Enjoy the rest of your day. And get out.